Hello, Riders. This is Steve. I'm with the American Legion Post 787 Riders out of Cicero, New York. I'm here to show you how to build a PGR-style flagpole out of a camera monopod. Many people who have purchased the PGR aluminum poles have been unhappy with them over time because they don't lock into position and they won't stay extended. There are a lot of videos out there on how to build this particular one, but this is my version. The first step is to purchase the following. A camera monopod. I've had good success with building two previously with one particular monopod. It's the Vivitar VT67. 67 inch monopod. Costs about $13.45. Then you need one one inch rubber furniture foot. Two S binder dual carabiner clips. I prefer the small number one size. Three cable ties. That's all you need. Now for the tools. A pair of pliers for gripping and pulling with the cutter. And a small Phillips head screwdriver in this case. Now for the build. For the first step Go to the top of the monopod where your camera mount is and at the base, in this case, is a set screw. If you get a different brand or a different type of monopod, that's okay. It may be mounted differently. It may be glued. It may be a set screw. You have to figure that out. But in this case, it's just a small Phillips set screw. Unscrew it and twist the top right off. The foam grip will slide down out of the way temporarily. Now take your furniture foot for an end cap. Press it on the end. It should press on perfectly. Like I said, if you have another brand or it doesn't fit quite right, you can use a little electrical tape if it fits a little loose. Wrap a few wraps around it, slide it on, you can glue it whatever you wish. Now slide your foam grip right up against the rubber foot. That part's done. Now for step two. Go to the opposite end and unscrew the end. Screw it till it stops. Take one S binder and attach it like this. It'll fit tight. Take your pliers, give it a pull until you hear it snap. Then tighten the nut down. That's done. Now for the lower clip. Go down to just below the second locking clip. So when you extend your pole all the way, goes the full length of the flag. Take two zip ties, wrap run around the pole like this, and the other one crossways looping under the zip tie that you tightened. Now attach your binder clip. Tighten it up. Clip the ends off. And you're all done. All you need to do is mount the flag. Get yourself a 3 foot by 5 foot flag and attach it to the pole. Now this is how it works. Take it out of the bag. What's nice about it is it comes in a nice bag. It packs nice and small. Unroll it. It's already attached. Unhook the clips and extend it. It's all set to the length 
So once you extend it all the way, the flag is nice and tight. Now once you're done, just retract it, lock the clips. Now it brings both the ends together, pull it back, and essentially fold it in half. Roll it right up on the pole. This might take a little time. Get it nice and neat. All rolled up nice and tight. Grab your bag, slide it on. And there you go. What I like about it also is I think it's better than the aluminum PGR pole is that it does retract smaller than the aluminum pole and the diameter is smaller. I keep the flag attached just rolled up and it fits nicely in this bag, leaving plenty of room in my saddle bag. If you find this video useful, please click like on the link. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Ride safe.